this video, I'm going to show you how to go through the lab work for two-slit interference uh, related to the learning objective, solve problems uh, involving two-slit interference. So we'll click on this one here. We'll use a laser. We want to get two slits. And let's... Turn that on. Screen up. Yeah. All right. So we see the interference pattern. So the first step is to sort of, you know, just create the interference pattern using laser light in the two slits. Now let's sort of think about everything here. <clears throat> the equation lambda which is the wavelength, that's the conclusion we want to reach. That's the claim that we're going to sort of make ultimately. Lambda equals a x over d. All right, and so d is going to be this distance here, the distance from the slits to the screen. Uh, a is the distance between the slits, and so we'll say from like the center of that slit there to the center of that slit there. Uh, X is the distance from bright spot to bright spot there. So rather this distance between here and here, we call that x. All right. Pause that. So we've got a measuring tool here. So the distance a, you would measure, right? You get a value for that. The distance for d, We can measure, get a value for that. The distance for x we could measure, get a value for that. And then we could calculate the wavelength from all that. And that's what you want to do for your lab work. Let's see. If we can't calculate the speed of light while we're at it. All right, clear all that. Wavelength here, 500 nanometers. Okay. Hey, that's one way to get the wavelength right. <laughs> Lambda equals ax over d. All right, we just measure it. We see it right there. It's 500 nanometers. All right. So the wavelength is 500 nanometers. Um, the velocity of a wave is the wavelength times the frequency. All right, the velocity of anything is just like distance divided by time. Right, and the distance of a wave is its wavelength. One over t, right? Distance over time, something one over time. That's the frequency. So thinking about it like wavelength divided by time. Well, if 1 over t is the same thing as f, then another way to think about velocity is that it's just equal to wavelength times frequency. The frequency of the wave. Let's get our timing tool over here. And start generating some waves here. All right. I'm going to start the time right now. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten waves. Ten waves per 17.21 femtosecond. Ten divided by 17.21, and we can see that a femtosecond is 10 to the negative 15. So I'm getting a frequency of 5.81 by 10 to the 14 hertz. 
multiply that by 500, and nano is 10 to the negative 9. And I'm getting a speed here of about 290 million. Pretty close to the uh, known speed of light 300 million. So there you go. Um, feel free to measure the speed of light while you're at it, class. Pretty cool.